Hi there, welcome to Techno Finance Works by Chris. The purpose of this video is to show you how to configure a dedicated DHCP server using the Packet Tracer. A DHCP is the dynamic host configuration protocol and it is used to automatically assign IP addresses to end user devices in the network. It's a very useful and time saving tool for network administrators and a dedicated DHCP server is actually you know scalable and relatively easy to manage but in a small branch or soho that's small office home office location a cisco ios router is mainly used to provide the acp services without the need for a dedicated server and the dhcp server listens on udp port 67 while the dhcp client listens on udp port 68 so i'm just gonna get into action quickly and show you how the configuration is done so i'm gonna grab a 1941 cisco switch and i'm gonna grab a couple of switches i mean a router basically then i'm gonna grab a couple of switches and let's say i'll grab two switches one two then i'm gonna grab a server that's gonna be our dhcp server and i'm gonna grab a few clients few pcs so let's grab this one two three and let's drop one two here and let's grab a laptop as well just one laptop will do so and then we're just gonna connect everything together so i'm gonna connect this you got bit zero zero here and the switch to the server switch to the laptop PC to switch PC three to switch three no not console and there was an error so i'm gonna delete that link so i'm gonna grab this again so first it's on a zero two first it's on a zero five grab that this switch zero two PC one zero three faster than a zero three PC zero faster than a zero four. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna label this quickly so this network let's say we've got one seven two dot sixteen dot 10.0 slash 16 we're going to use slash 16 here and let's say this is 192.168.30.0 slash 24 so then we'll go to a DHCP server we begin the configuration here say DHCP let's name it DHCP server so that's okay so then the desktop will assign an IP address it's gonna be on the 192 192.168.30 network so the IP is gonna be 192.168.30 Let's give it the second IP address and then the default gateway is going to be 192.168.30.1 So I'm just going to change that to 1 So DNS server will leave that So services, we go to DHCP and then we turn it on So the pool, we're just going to say name it pool 
said to Eddie, basically, pull net to Eddie. So the default gateway here is going to be 192.168.30.1. On the DNS server, we could leave that, or we could say 192.168.30.1. Dot two, that's the IP address of the DTP server itself. And then start IP, let's start from 10. So, yeah, this is okay. Then we can say hard. So, that's been added. So, yeah, our default gateway, yeah, yeah. So, that's good. So, then we'll create a pool for the 172 network as well so we can say net 10 here or let's say 172 so this is gonna be all oh, this is gonna go 172 that's 16 and that 10 the default gateway is gonna be 1 so DNS server can remain the same because we've only got one server there so 172 then 16 and then 10 and then yeah we can start with 10 as well or we start with let's say 5 here so the subnet mask is going to be 255.255.0.0 because it's a slash 16 so we can go for 100 addresses here so we're just gonna add as well and then we should be fine so we find that the pool has been created for the both of them so we just gonna double check the IP address again here yeah, the default gateway is correct and yeah, the IP address is correct of our DHCP server so we close this, then we'll try to make a request from this LAN. They should be able to get IP addresses from there without configuring the the IP address on the router yet. So that was successful. So, but the issue I'm seeing here is not supposed to get the thirty dot one, but I'm gonna ignore that for now and just create the IP address of the gateway I don't know maybe it's a glitch from the packet tracer here it's not supposed to get the dot one address the reservation is supposed to start from from here I'm gonna try to see what's going on okay Yeah, we started with from 10. Yeah, and we said the default gateway was that. So it's not supposed to issue that IP address to that client. That's the, that's the IP address of the default gateway. But I'm going to configure the default gateway and then we'll take it from there. So I go into our router, CLI. No. So this interface here, the gigabit 0, zero gigabit 0 slash 0, I'm going to assign an IP address. Enable, I use n, then conf t. Then interface gigabit 0 slash 0. So IP hard. So 192.168.0. 30.1.255.255.255.0 so no shot so let's ping a, a DHCP server from there do ping 
Okay, so the ping is now successful from there to our DHCP server. So I'm gonna probe this client again for a DHCP for an IP address. Yeah, so he's giving it dot three. Yeah, so let's try this. Let's go dot four, thirty dot four. So then the laptop. Yeah, this should be successful. Thirty dot five. So we're gonna go to this network, these guys, because the DHCP request it's a broadcast, but we'll get there. I'm just gonna configure this quickly as well to wrap up this video. I exit the interface and I go to interface gigabit zero slash one. Yeah, the zero slash one. Yeah. So IP ad. That's IP address normally. Yeah. So one seven two. Dot sixteen. Dot ten. Dot one. Then we've got two five five. Dot two five two five five. Dot zero. Dot zero. Because it's slash sixteen. We're using there. So no shot. So no shot down. So. Then here this client. Even as of now, they won't be able to get an IP address if I try because I need to still use one command. I need to enter one command to say, yeah, it's going to be a PIPA here, automatic IP address, automatic private IP address here, 169. So the DHCP request failed. So I need to go back to this interface and enter the IP address of this D of our DHCP server to to use this interface as a DHCP relay agent. So I'm gonna say IP helper address. So that's one nine two dot one six eight dot thirty dot two because the DHCP request is a it's a broadcast and they are not on the same network and the router will not normally relay a broadcast traffic to the other LAN so but now we're telling it to relay it once it gets the broadcast message here it should relay it to the other LAN because our DHCP server is here so now if I go on this client again and try to get an IP address is gonna be successful let's go back to our other client here the one that failed before so we go static and then we go DHCP so it's got 172.16.10.6 from the range it's supposed to get from so DHCP request successful it's got in an IP address so and then this as well PC1, yeah, the SCP request successful and it's got from that range and we've got all our, you know, parameters here, the DNS server, that's the IP address of the DHCP server, gateway, and all of that, and our subnet mask is slash 16.255.255.0.0. So, then the last PC, PC2, DHCP. Yeah, this will be successful. So thank you very much. If you find this video helpful, you can give it thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So have a good night. Take care. See you on the next video. Bye.